welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. This is Vlogmas, and sadly, this is the last Vlogmas episode of the year. Our last video of 2019. Oh my god. Can't believe how fast 2019 flew by. I can't believe how fast December and Vlogmas flew by. Honestly, starting December, I was like, how am I gonna get 12 videos up? And honestly, I didn't struggle that much at all. And this was great. So if you guys like this series, please let me know and I will gladly do it again next year bigger better super down for it so let me know if you guys enjoy and if you like her and milton's sweater by the way and mine this one is new from the winter collection it's our snow calf sweatshirt it's available in a lot of different colors and in all cavalier colors and these sweaters we just have a few left of each so please check it out they're so adorable but for the last video of 2019 last video of vlogmas i wanted to do uh what we eat in a day sort of video for her and milton we always get a lot of questions regarding what her and Milton eat and I know it's kind of tricky to know exactly what to supplement your dog's food with but a good guideline to follow is to do the best that you can it can't always be perfect and that's fine and it's always good to keep informed and be up to date and to keep learning about nutrition that's what I always think so I always try to up my game for their nutrition and this might seem very bougie for a lot of you but I value their nutrition a lot and this is part of um, my daily life now. Like I spend all my days with Hurricane Milton and this is part of my job also to educate myself on dog nutrition, to give them the best nutrition possible and then to inform you guys about everything. So this is just going to be um, what we eat in a day today. It changes up every week, every few days, I would say, just because I like to vary the protein that Herky and Milton eat. And by varying the protein, I get different formulas from Big Country Raw. And those can either have a fully balanced meal, which are the dinners from Big Country Raw, or they can have only the meat part and then you supplement with other things like the fruits and veggies and everything. So it's always good to vary up the protein that your dogs eat just because not every protein is a complete source of amino acids and they contain different properties and different benefits. Every time I go buy some food for Hurricane Milton, it'll always be something chicken, something turkey, and then something beef. That's a good ratio and that's what they digest well and that's what I'm comfortable feeding them. But it can vary with everybody. Of course, I'm gonna add here and there, like the country blend or the Dutch dinner. Those are mixes of uh, poultry that are already made and it's just festive and fun. Today for breakfast, Herky and Milton had some leftover beef dinner from yesterday because each pack is a one pound pack. Together, between the two of them, they don't even eat one full pound a day. So this was the remaining little bit of their food from yesterday. And then I added some country blend. I have my laptop here just to have the exact ingredients. So the country blend has turkey, green beef tripe, ground turkey bone, beef heart, beef liver, beef spleen, and beef kidney. So it's basically turkey and uh, organs from beef. And the ratio of that is 80% muscle meat, 10% organ meat, and 10% ground bone. And then to supplement that, all the meats and bones and organs should be 90% and then they should have 10% fruits and vegetables. And since this blend doesn't have fruits and vegetables, I add either some superfood blend or some homemade pumpkin puree. I always like to keep pumpkin puree on hand. Like this fall when I used to buy a lot of pumpkins, I made my own pumpkin puree and I freeze them in one cup packets in the freezer. And so every time I have some country blend or some blend that doesn't have any fruits and vegetables. I like to keep on hand either some pumpkin or the pre-made side dish from Big Country Raw Superfood Blend. I love Big Country Raw. One of the reasons is that they have so many side dishes and those are so much fun. You can make your own everything basically. You can get some pure protein and then you can get side dishes of pork organ and beef organ and green tripe and fruits and vegetables and pure pumpkin puree and fruits and vegetables. Everything you can get side dishes of and make your own bowls. So this morning, that's what I did. A bit of beef, a bit of country blend. I would say about one teaspoon of a superfood blend. And then I added an egg because it's Saturday and I thought this was a good treat to add for them. I like to give them a, a quail egg two to three times a week maximum. And that's just a, a lot of extra added minerals and, um, and nutrients and healthy fats and everything. And yes, they do eat the shell too. The shell of a quail egg is super soft. It's actually not brittle. It's actually not uh, harmful at all for them to eat it. And the girls just love it and they digest it super well. So this morning I added that. 
And of course, every morning, uh, every day, and I usually do it with their morning meal, I add one sploosh of fish oil. We like the one from Farah Pet Organics, but Big Country Bra also has one. And then I use some probiotics from Farah Pet Organics as well to aid their digestion and to have a healthy gut flora. And that's it. That's their beautiful breakfast. Okay, and now lunchtime. Today we ate lunch a little late just because I completely forgot where the time went. So close to 2 p.m. today, we ate again. Hurricane Milton do eat four times a day, and I'm sorry if I repeat this all the time, but it's in case there are some new viewers that don't know. But Hurricane Milton eat four times a day because Milton has either a super fast metabolism or a very acidic stomach. But if she doesn't eat at a maximum interval every few hours, she's gonna vomit straight up bile. And overnight, when we don't feed her max after eight hours, she's gonna puke in her bed. Like, it's inevitable. So our schedule that works good for us is in the morning and then about 1 p.m. and then 7 p.m. and then right before bed, usually around midnight. Yes, we go to bed way too late every night. So for lunch today, we had some country blend. We're going to have the rest of this protein for the rest of the day. So since the country blend, again, doesn't have fruits and vegetables for lunch, I gave them one teaspoon of pure pumpkin puree each. And since uh, I just wanted to add a little treat for them and I had an, just one left of these in the freezer, I gave them each half a cube of raw goat milk cheese with spirulina. So you can either serve this cheese uh, frozen or thawed. I just like to give it to them frozen. It's a nice little frozen treat. It's great for digestion. It's great for liver disorders. And it's great for immune system response too. I always like to give them a lot of probiotics just to make sure that they digest everything well. But uh, we've been on raw for almost a year and it's been no problem. And even when we travel and we're and we're stuck having to give them some kibble, that's when I notice that their poop becomes like softer and looser and stinkier. So all around, we just love what raw food is doing for them. We had a holiday party at my mom's house tonight. When we go to dinner to other people's houses or for lunch, we always bring the girls food. And so dinner was at my mom's tonight. So they had their portion of raw and I fed them that in combination with some crudités that we had, gave them some carrots, gave them some broccoli, and that completed their 10% of vegetables that they need for a complete dinner. And then tonight, before bedtime, they're gonna have, again, the remainder of the raw food with a bit of veggies to complete it all. And that should sustain them until tomorrow morning. And they also had a little treat today. They had their advent calendar cookie. Yeah, so that completes the full day of eating of Hurricane Milton. That's what they eat in a normal day. Again, it varies according to the weeks, uh, depending on the protein and everything, but this gives you a ballpark of what they eat. I always like to switch up the food that they eat too. Sometimes I, I give them really interesting foods like chicken feet, 
like sardines. They always enjoy everything. So, so I wanted to thank you for tuning in to Vlogmas this year. We've had a blast making this new series and I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up and let us know if you want us to do it again next year and let us know what you'd like to see for 2020. This is going to be our last video of 2019. We wish you all a very safe and fun holiday season. We love you guys so much. Have a safe New Year's too. And we'll see you in 2020. We love you guys. Bye.